Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to talk about setting up a Drupal host. I'm going to be doing it two ways. Uh, the first way is using the extras feature here. And uh, the second way is going to be doing it manually by going to drupal.org and downloading um, the uh, content management system files and then installing it manually. Okay, so I'm going to start out by doing it with the extras uh, first. So in order to do it with extras, uh, I have to first set up a host. I'm going to call this host Drupal uh, Extra. And I'm going to set my document root folder to um, host one, which I've uh, already created. So uh, this is in my, um, uh, it's going to be my uh, username websites to host one directory. I'm going to save that and then go to the extra to create it. So with my host now set up, I'm going to go to the uh, extras tab here and uh, press the plus button. And I have a, uh, some options here or available. Uh, content manage management systems. I'm going to take Drupal 8.2.6 and continue. So uh, um, here first we have a few options. Uh, the extras makes it really easy. Uh, I can name uh, my site uh, anything here. Uh, first I'm going to do my email. I'll just call it, um, I'll just put a fake email here, username at user.com. Um, and I can go here and uh, change the name of my site. I can make it my cool site. So the extras um, uh, makes it really easy to um, set up a uh, Drupal host uh, directory. I can optionally um, uh, put my host, my Drupal host, in a subdirectory of the document root. I'm not going to do that, but if you wish to, you can. Table prefix and database username. I'll keep as is. Um, so um, the extra that I create will have a DP underscore Drupal uh, names for their tables. Um, admin here and admin password. Uh, you should change this after the uh, extra is installed. That is the password. So with these uh, pre-entered values, you can just press install and MAMP is going to go ahead and install the extra. So it makes it really easy for you to make a Drupal install. And once it's finished downloading and installing, I will go to, um, uh, to the website and I will log in once. Um, to the uh, admin section. Okay, so it's done downloading and installing. Here is, you can see the admin section, uh, and here is the uh, actual site. So if I just go here, click on this button, I go to Drupal Extra, and here's my site. So it's, everything's already installed. And I can go straight to the um, uh, admin section as well. And that'll take me straight to the admin section. Now I know it's admin. And with an admin password, I can log in. Uh, I recommend changing the admin password to something other than admin. But that's your uh, um, admin section. So the extras makes it really easy to install the extra. And um, you can also access the uh, page here. If you go to the general tab, you can also uh, press this arrow to open up your site. I now want to go over a few details about um, what the extra actually installed before I move on to the uh, manual installation of Drupal. So here you have um, uh, the, the uh, host and uh, uh, what it did was uh, here's your um, document root, username, websites, host one. So you can see um, uh, the extra installed the uh, <clears throat> Drupal content management system into this uh, document root directory. And if you go to your web start page and look at your PHP my admin, you will see that a Drupal uh, um, database was installed. So that's what the extra did behind the scenes um, of your uh, installing um, the Drupal content management system. So it just made things really easy for you to quickly set up a Drupal site. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go and make my own installation of Drupal without using the extra. So I went and created a Dru uh, Drupal host called Drupal Own Installation, and it has a document root of username websites host2. So uh, when you create a host, there's gonna be an index.php and a mat logo.png, which will be overwritten here in a second. So I went to the uh, drupal.org website, downloaded at the time uh, the latest Drupal 8.2.6, and downloaded the zip file. And I'm gonna go ahead and move that into my, I'm just gonna copy all the files in here, and copy this into my um, document root folder, which is going to be, and uh, in, in the index.php file will be overwritten. Okay, so while that's doing that, one additional step I have to do when um, installing a content management manually, I have to go to my web start page here, go to PHP my admin, and I have to create a database. So I'm gonna create a, a database called Drupal, capital O, Drupal own, and create that empty database. So now I can go through the setup process in Drupal. So all I have to do is open up the uh, website and Drupal is going to detect that the installation hasn't been done and uh, proceed with um, the installation. So I'm going to do that standard install. Um, what I, okay, so I don't have opcode caching enabled. That is an option in PHP here. I'm not going to do that now, but I, uh, it looks like it can improve my site's import, uh, <clears throat> my site's performance. Otherwise, I have all the uh, prerequisites, so I'm just going to continue. Okay, so the uh, no, of course, I already forgot my um, database name. It was called Drupal Own. Okay. So Drupal own is my database name. Database user is root. Uh, by default, MAMP installs uh, a root uh, MySQL user. And uh, it comes standard with a um, root password. Maybe you have changed that, which you probably have, should have. So put that password in. That is here on MAMP, if, uh, change password here. So it comes installed with a um, root password. So you, if you changed it, um, use that password. Uh, some advanced options here. Local hosts is already, this is all um, standard. Um, if Now, of course, I am using uh, port 80, uh, 81 and 3306 for my, um, installations and I have changed that from the default uh, settings in MAP. Make sure that port number here if you're using default is 88 um, 8889 but uh, I am using the uh, I guess what one would call standard uh, server ports not the default MAP ports. Okay, so um, table prefix, you can do that if you want. I'm not gonna do a table prefix. I'm gonna save and continue. And now it's just a matter of, um, okay, Drupal is now going to be installed. Okay, so we're at uh, what you could call the uh, main uh, installation page of Drupal. And you can just um, fill out um, uh, the fields here. Um, I suggest putting a, a real um, email address in there. Username, um, I'm just going to put admin and use admin as my uh, password. Um, I'd advise using probably a better password, and uh, Drupal advises that as well. Um, you can fill out uh, the, the rest of these options as you uh, wish, and save and continue. And it looks like Drupal is going to um, go through and uh, install everything. And it looks like I'm 
already uh, the site is already set up and it looks good so I'm just gonna log out I'm not gonna go into the details of the admin page but I'm gonna log out and just you can confirm that your site actually works if you go here now and just click on this arrow and okay well no, it was already open but uh, this should open up a tab yeah of your new website so that is uh, installing Drupal uh, manually and using extras with MAMP Pro 4.